I was just playing about with this computer fan and um, it, these fans, you tend to think of them as just blowing a straight path of air but in reality it comes out as a spiral vortex of air because of the stirring of the blades and this is why on things like silk frames they need baffles in front of it, little uh, flat plates to actually change the direction of the air, it steers it straight because otherwise uh, with the silk flames, the, the, the silk flames in effect where a piece of silk gets blown about by the fan, it looks like a flame. Um, in those effects, uh, if you don't use the baffles, the, spilk, the silk will just twist into a spiral. And it got me thinking about uh, other uses for that. So here's a couple of boxes, just random fairy light boxes, Christmas light boxes. See, we do call them fairy lights in the UK. Um, so I'll put this on there and press it down. It's got a couple of screws. And there, just to lift it up to let air flow in the bottom. Actually, I'll just go a wee bit wider in there. And I shall turn this on. Interesting, this fan starts reliably at just under 3 volts, which is pretty good. And here's a candle. And if you put the candle on top of it, and I'll turn it up a wee bit. I'm not sure if this is the point that uh, suddenly all the audio will go a bit weird because the microphone's directly above it. It might. But the flame actually shows a sort of spiral effect. It actually sort of spins round to a degree, but there's a sort of random element as well. And when you lift it up onto a higher platform, like say for instance this little container, he said bring your candle even closer to the iPad, even quite a distance in front it's still affected by this vortex. I'll turn that up a wee bit. And it made me think that there must be other uses for that and one thing that came to mind was these air freshener bottles because if it's a vortex and the um, air will actually swirl in in a sort of spiral manner then theoretically it should diffuse the aroma and right now I'm getting the strong aroma off that, it really does. The air isn't just blowing past the outside, it's swirling around that wick and it's carrying the aroma into the room and it made me think that would be quite an interesting way to uh, maybe have a aroma diffusion or oil diffusion because I noticed also it doesn't even have to have the wick if you use a bottle of essential oil and you just leave the lid unscrewed and there's a wee bit on top um, it will actually carry that aroma up off that so that's just an interesting concept um, as opposed to the heated ones because um, the aroma comes off this a lot faster it, it comes off instantly there's no sort of warm up time I'll turn that off in case it is making a lot of noise in the fan and the microphone but, um, yeah, the the spiral vortex. It's got other. Um, it's got other uses. It's quite an interesting effect in these fans.